Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to talk about is the scanning functionalities that we have in the software. So, let's go to the presentation. So, as I already explained in this model about the basic functions, is that I'm going to base all the explanation in three languages, ladder, function, no, ladder, CFC, and structure test. So, inside the software, okay, we have the following possibility when we want to make a, a scaling of, for example, you have a analog input and then you want to scale the voltage of the current to something more uh, readable. For example, if you're reading temperature with, um, a sensor that you receive the sensor in voltage of current that you will need to make some kind of calculation to have the actual temperature that you are trying to read so if we see it like this okay just spread it a little bit more so imagine that you are reading voltage or current and you're using one of the tn3 analog input that we have inside the tn3 model we have the possibility to define if it's going to be voltage or current and then we need to specify the minimum and maximum value this minimum and maximum value to have by default if it's voltage i believe is zero and if it's uh, the maximum voltage will be uh, i believe if i'm not wrong 1000 or 10000 we can check that and if it's this current is something more related to the 4 uh, to 20 milliamps so you can really see in milliamps which is the value then you can use you can scale that leave it in current or voltage or make the uh, the default value that you want in order to have an analog signal escalated or raw in an int value that is one way to do it the other one is to okay i have the tn3 analog input model with the voltage and current configuration for each of the inputs and then leave this as default okay and then have the raw signal this raw signal is going to be int okay and then we can use a converter to have a real variable okay and then in the software we have two scaling functions which are the lean truffle and the FB, signal, uh, FB underscore scaling. The lean truffle belongs to the library util and the scaling belongs to the library toolbox. Okay. Whatever you want to use the scaling or the lean truffle, you will require uh, four additional inputs to this function block. Okay. You will require the minimum and max value of this raw signal okay and the minimum and max value that you want in the output okay then this function block make all the calculations and then you have in the output a real variable already escalated okay so this can be the second scenario and the same can be applied if you're using an output okay but if you're using an output to be escalated into voltage or current, probably here in the scale, what you need to do is to use a converter, okay, to convert to int or word. I don't remember now the output of the TN3, but you can use this part, okay. So in the software, as I already mentioned, we have the FB scaling and the lean truffle. The lean truffle belongs to the util library and you can assign with the prefix util dot the lean truffle to call it or just the lean truffle variable uh, function. And the FB scaling belongs to the toolbox and this is the namespace for the toolbox as e underscore tvx dot and the name of the function block. As you can see, above the functions we have these question marks and that means that all these functions require an instance of the variable so we need to define a variable 
that will have all the variables of this function block and that's what we call the instance and if you take a look here okay you have already defined two different instance ones for the fvs scaling and the other one for the the lean truffle so basically these names is the ones that you need to use for example over here or here and this is the name that you put over here or here okay if you are using for example the, the structure text once you define this um, name for the instance you just need to use the input assistant and select instance call so you can see all these input and output already implemented in the code okay as you can see here there is a easy description of the inputs are all real okay and this one doesn't explain but it's going to be real also so let's create a few view and see the comparison about these two function blocks okay in the past okay or what i usually do is like a um, equation or linearization so basically you have two points and then make the calculations of everything for example if you have 4 milliamps 20 milliamps you can escalate to the value that you want for example to 100 and you can see the values for the slope and the offset that you have and then you can make the calculation on the input to have the um, the result of the output that is basically what it does okay so if we go to our application oops the other side okay we can see that to, to let me close all this to windows close so <laughs> there we go so we can see for example if we have a t entry analog input okay that we have the inputs are based in integer okay and here you can see that if i configure one from 0 to 10 volts or 4 to 20 milliamps these are the default values that we can have you can also change it but you can leave this as a default okay so if you leave this as the default okay then you can have you will be in this scenario just let me just close you will be in this scenario where you have the minimum value for example if the port is zero and then it's a thousand okay then the row value will be in between these two values okay that we need to be used over here and then what you need to do is to define what you want for scanning for example the mean value zero volt will be I don't know uh, minus 20 degrees and the max will be um, 220 degrees okay and then the value scale will be between those two values values that we already defined okay so that's basically the idea so if we go back to the software okay I am not 100 percent sure if I can uh modify this part force the value because I don't have that car. Let me just check. I um temperature raw. Okay. I'm going to modify that to be that variable. I temperature raw. And then what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this as a default okay and then if we use for example let's use ladder I'm going to add two ramps and I'm going to use here the se underscore tbx dot fb scaling scaling over here instance scaling one 
And now here, the other one, da, 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 da. Uh, there was the name ulti.lintrafo. Instance Escaline 2. Just the second metaphor, Escaline. So, uh, this one is, is to activate. So, I'm going to be always in true. I can specify a variable just in case. Uh, enable this one. It's going to be enable. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't. I'm going to delete this one so I can use the enable for the both of them. So this one has enable util dot um, lin drop in calling to perfect here x enable. So here what we can do now is to use the variables that we have. So this variable over here is going to be i temperature row. So this one is going to be integer. If I want to use it over here, I need to transform this to real. To real, let me see if this allow me. Yes. Otherwise, I should have created like another PU or function to com to make the conversion uh, like this to real assign the input over there and assign a different variable to make it the uh r temperature real uh row okay and in this way i can i don't need to do this part over here but it allows me to do this so i'm going to comment this so if you go right click over here toggle network comment state here the mean value is going to be 0, 0 0.0 the max value of the input is going to be 10000 10000 let me just have a check 10000 okay if you have problems trying to identify you can use the underscore over here underscore oops just one underscore if i know wrong just to identify that so here, uh, pa -pa -pa -pa, the mean value output. So imagine that you have the 22 red, uh, Celsius degree and 20, uh, 20, 120 degrees. Okay. This one just in case for reset. Okay. But I believe the reset is just for in case the value that we have over here is outside these limits and uh, what is the variable here will be the variable that i want to check so uh, i temperature scaled one it's going to be r okay so this is going to be the result of this scaling and i'm going to use this one scale to over here okay here let me see is the real so this variable again i need to convert it so here zero zero then underscore zero 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 i believe this is to to define that and then minus 20.0 the idea is to show you how it works both of them it's going to be the same result so and hopefully i can force this value over here otherwise i need to assign a different variable so let's go over here and connect hopefully everything's gonna be fine <laughs> okay this is run so let's just move all this over here so uh let's see if i can modify this to be uh five thousand okay yes it allowed me even in simulation good so now 
I'm going to enable the use of the scaling. So the result should be the same in both of them. So this means that I have 50 degrees over here. And if I let's start with the button, so it should be minus 20 degrees. Okay, as you can see, because it's the minimum value, it should be the minimum. Then if I select 1000, no, uh, 10,000, it should be the maximum value, so 120 in both of them. And, oh, it's this one. Now, there we go. 120. So if I select, for example, 186, it should be something in the middle. Okay. So if we go back to this calculation, okay, so I have just to show you that the value is worked or close enough. So the minimum value here is going to be zero the x point should be here uh 10,000 and the input should be minus 20 and this one should be 120 okay so this will be the equation that this block can have inside i really don't know which is the logic but i believe it's going to be close enough so if the value is 586 okay is close enough to the value that i have over here okay so that is means that uh, probably if I some decimal stuff, so you can see that it's the same result. Okay, so this is how you can use the different scaling method. Okay, it's very simple once you know the limits. Or the limits range for your uh for the scan it can be implemented for the inputs or for the scanning the outputs into the um into the outputs that you want for the t entry mode so this is for the scanning thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one